Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 17. This is Goldcrest Valley, and this is our new Massey Ferguson tractor we got yesterday with our uh, our million dollar prize. One of the probably the, the biggest uh, purchase we're going to be making for quite some time. Probably the the price of a of a new field right here in this tractor. Well, we got the wheel weights. We got the uh, the larger engine. I think we're at 245 horsepower. Um, the front loader brackets, yeah, I, b between episodes, did some reorganizing. Brought all the tractors into here, and the two, uh, case red ones out front, we'll just take off that way, these will back out. Got all of the grass and hay implements over in this area. So we got our mower, first of, of two mower decks. Uh, the tether over there and the wind rower, and then we've got the baler in here. And everything is aimed from the center diagonally in. So I can pull a tractor into the middle, then curve in and grab them. Same thing over here. See if I can do this without walking around. Not really. So let's pop out and hit over here. So over here we've got the, uh, the telehandler and front loader implements and the telehandler's implements. And then out over here, Let's see how fast I can, I can sprint over here. <laughs> Got all of the sower and, and uh, fertilizer sort of things, as well as the weeder, which acts as, a, as a, essentially a stage of fertilizer. I was trying to zoom out there. Sorry about that. That is a habit I'll probably never break. And I didn't know where to put this guy, so he just kind of got stuck over here. Let's go grab the telehandler. Hmm. No, maybe not. I'm trying to think what to do this episode. I was going to get the bale spike and come out and park these guys, but where do you put them? I was thinking maybe we'd take them over to the sheep pen, but that doesn't make sense unless you have sheep. So what do you say we invest a little more money and get some sheep? That might be a wise investment for the future, as well as... Um just something fun to do right now. Let's back this guy out. Now, what dials work in there? I'm seeing speedometer. That must be an RPM down below it. I don't know what the one in the middle is. There's the dial in the middle is working. Huh. So let's head up this way. We'll show you what happened. Whoops. I happened up there. I did Decide that the plows and cultivators should all go up in this area. So I brought all those over here and I straightened up that one that I brought in kind of crooked. So they're all pulled into there as well as the harvester, or the combine. And I don't think I am going to use that small plow ever again. I don't see a reason to ever pay someone to work three, you know, one third as long, or actually more than twice as long to do it. So let's go ahead and bring this one back and sell it. We're connecting right up at this point over here, actually. Like that. Can I grab that there? Yeah. So let's take this guy back in and sell him. And let's go get the... I don't know what it's called. The big wagon that carries the animals. The animal wagon. We'll call it that till we figure out what it's actually called. Whoa, there's this thing picks up some speed. <laughs> it looked a little crazy. It felt a little crazy going in there. But let's head down to the south of Mary's farm and buy some sheep. And then we need to buy, let's see, a water, what do we call it, a water wagon, a water tank, to water the sheep with. And we'll use the front loader on the tiller wagon, actually the uh, bale spike on, the, on, the, on this guy, no on the telewagon, the telehandler, the Manitou, we'll go with that, to carry a couple of bales over there of, of hay, and that will feed them. I don't believe the sheep need straw. I think that is only pigs and cattle, but I have to make sure of that. A 
love the sounds of this tractor. Okay, well, let's back this in this time. See what they'll give us for it. All right, we're gonna get twelve thousand back for it. Now we paid fifteen. That's not a lot of loss. There's not a lot of hours in it, though. That's probably why. Uh, direct selling customization. There is no customization. So back and sell. All right, there's twelve thousand back. Let's see what it takes to bring sheep to the sheep farm. So what am I thinking of? Loading manure miscellaneous. Is there a category for animals? There is, is not obvious. Nothing like animal technology. Okay, we'll go to miscellaneous and see what we get. No. This is the one that will restore ground or delete fields to, the, to its initial ground state. So it will get rid of fields that you have extended. It will get rid of fields if you just want a big uh, open area with no fields. So I don't know why you'd want that, but... The plow can be used to create fields, and this guy could be used to get rid of them if you ever need to. Now, what are you? Tanks transport liquids. That is a tank. Okay. Not quite what I'm looking for. That's an $8,000 tank that holds 3,700 gallons. Well, I won't rule it out. It's got a ball hitch on it. So... I'm looking for animals. Ooh, there is one. Okay, that's what I was looking for. That is 7,300 gallons. What was the other one? 3,700. Dual axle, though. It looks huge for half the uh, volume. Huh. Don't quite get that one. Okay, so that guy's going to be needed. This guy's going to be needed. The Joskin Betamax RDS 7500. Trailers used to transport animals. Oh, and then we've got the Micheletto. Micheletto. It won't give you a capacity because it changes per animal. Okay, what are you? Forage mixer wagon. Blends silage, hay, and straw bales together to make, a, to make a mixture that can be fed to cows. Oh, that's interesting. I'm used to dumping it. Oh, okay. Maybe dumping it into here so it mixes it up is that part back over there, possibly. But this is self-contained with a, uh, a driving cab. Ah, so you drive it over. You fill it up, drive it over to where you need to feed the animals, and dump it into their trough. Or this one, I believe, has a tube that blows out the side. You pull up alongside of it. You are a what? This is a... Where's your title? Just a coon. So no real title. Um, you drop hay bales in there, and it will blow it out the spout and uh, put put uh, straw into your uh, cow and, I believe, pig pasture to set the bedding in there. Actually, I want to go back to here. So we want these guys. So, returning that plow more than paid for this one. Uh, we're going to need it today, so let's go ahead and, and set it. No upgrade, no uh, uh, options, so buy, yes. Okay, back. And this guy, no options. Buy, yes. Okay, back. So, we have the grass to feed the sheep. And cattle is much more complicated. Pigs is all, are also quite complicated because there are several feeds that you can give them, but uh, uh, sheep is just hay or grass. So let's do that first. And while I'm thinking about it, 
right here. We've got no fields that are going to be ready anytime soon. I'm trying to think of what color that is. Is that the final stage or is that one in between? I'm not seeing, because this lightest green is what has just been sown. So there are many of these. The next one looks like that. And then there's nothing else besides this color. So I don't have anything to really compare these two. So I don't know if we're about to pop, and all, and at least these two are about to, to be ready to harvest, or if we have two stages left. We have a little bit of time to spend doing something. I didn't want to just go do more logging, though that was a lot of fun. And we'll do it better next time. We'll do whole trees worth at a time. Get these huge logs onto a trailer. But for now, I think animals are what we're going to do with this time. So we'll leave the, uh, the water for now and just deal with the trailer itself. The quantity of water you put in, the quantity of feed you put in, depends on the number of animals that are there. So it won't do any good to pre-water and feed and then go get the animals. It will not be enough for the animals we actually get. So, Joskin trailer. And let's look at the controls on that guy. Lower Livestock Trailer, V. Ah, lower it for loading. And then, what, open cover in? That's the top one. So, how do you open the door? Exit vehicle, Livestock Trailer, detach. How about... Not that. Alright, so, B? I don't know. Maybe it won't actually open until you're ready to uh, to buy animals. Maybe that control will show up then. Okay. All right. Well, let's go do that. I'm going to take off this way so we don't uh, sideswipe our water trailer there. Boy, uh, this thing is tall compared to her. Looks like we're twice her height now. So we're 25 miles an hour in here. Uh, beacons. Can do it? Yeah. Boy, oh, those signs feel low. Are we still officially in town? Alright, we'll slow it down a bit. Let's set cruise control. How do you do that? One? Yeah. 25 and three. There we go. Now nine. Let's get down to let's see, steer a little bit. Down to Mary's farm, down 31. That's where you buy the animals at. And we're gonna call this the 50 zone. Let's get out there. So 32 is our top. Dukes of Hazard jumps. <laughs> no, we're not doing it in a tractor and trailer. Found a lot of gold out in this corner of the map, though. before. I've seen it done. I wonder if you can buy manure here. Is this a cell point? It might just be a cell point. That could be, rather than a, uh, a buy point. I don't know if you're able to buy um, product like that in this game. Nice to be able to buy potatoes or, or uh, you know, something that you need for the pigs if you don't have it.
Where's our markers? There they are. All right, well, we're definitely in range. All right, let's see how this works. So we know that V lowers our trailer down. And life's open dialogue, R. There we go. We want sheep. We can hold nine. That's pigs. Sheep, we can hold ten. That's 40,000. Brings us down to right around a half a million dollars left. I would say let's do that. Let's do all ten of them. It takes quite a while to build up the wool to sell. The more anim animals you have and the better kept they are, then the faster it goes. So ten of ten. Nothing else to choose on here. Just a straight $40,000 out the wallet. Confirm. And we have got sheep. There they are. So V brings the trailer back up. And three browns, three blacks, and four whites. Of course, I don't normally have sheep or know much about them. There's probably uh, very specific terms for their colors. Like with horses, you've got bays and, and you know, different words that are used for the colors. All right. Fire that up. Let's head off to the sheep farm. What's our best path? We'll follow this one. Try to keep it fairly smooth for him. Imagine they're all leaning over to the right right now. So do we shoot the, uh, the little bridge over there with this thing? There's a huge bump at the other side. I want to see my map. Speaking of map, notice something today. Just kind of looking through here before the episode to figure out if we're going to work on on uh, fields or just what. And I got to looking at these. You can turn off different icons on the map this way. These these are your filters, so you can get rid of all of your equipment. And uh, don't know why one of them lights up when I do that, but. But uh, it kind of cleans the map up a little bit. Or you can use turn off everything and you can go and figure out where that tractor went. There it is. Or the three that are sitting over here in the farm. Or the truck. I guess the truck's a tractor. But we'll turn all these back on again. And anyway, we are down here. Get across that way. Or we follow this all the way around. Now we'll go this way. In fact, it'd be better really just to go back right there. And then head up the second right. No, we're going here. We're not going home. Okay, in that case, bridge is here. Or it's all the way into town somewhere. Somewhere in there it connects. All right, we'll take the bridge. And head over there and take the back route back in like that. All right, that's the plan. So to get to that bridge, After the after field thirty, okay. trailer lines up well. Okay, now the problem is that big old bump right there. Well, that trailer suddenly looks really little compared to the tractor, doesn't it? It's so short. Setter cruise control. And actually, it was this turn here, wasn't it? 
Yeah, we were almost there. Okay. Why do that? Get rear-ended. That is a cell point. That might be. Not a cell point, I'm sorry, a buy point. Looks like they're pouring it into your trailer. One of these days we'll bring a, bring a trailer over there and, and see what happens when we, when we hit that. shed over here of any kind for uh, hay storage. Now that's a closed building there. So this is actually our uh, where we enter or where we unload the sheep. So how best? I think we'll do it this way. Really you can be anywhere in this little rectangle here but it just seems right to Drop them into the chute right there. All right, B that one and R. There we go. Unload ten of them into the farm from the trailer. Confirm. Yes. And they're already out there. Wow, they're fast. <laughs> Let's park this guy over here and actually we'll just drive around the circle. We'll go and take a look. grass out here. What I don't know is if they will actually eat the grass down in here. If it will go away like, like it's been mowed. I'd be very curious to see. Alright. Very realistic looking. I am impressed. Very loud eaters too. So let's park this guy. Wide on the corners here. Not too wide. Yeah. <laughs> and we are officially in the sheep business. still dragging? I am. Darn. There we go. That caused a little bit of damage. Gonna raise it back up again. Sheep are fairly close, right out the back of that field, and then out the back of that field are the pigs. So sheep and pigs would be the easiest ones to dive into first. Cattle are clear down south of town. Um, let's go this way. We'll see if we can park it over in that area. 
not going to use this very often. Now the pattern is that everything is pulled in from this direction, but I really don't think I can make that turn. I don't think so. I think I'm going to be pulling in too sharp. I'll tell you what, let's, I was going to back it in, but let's pull through the bushes. I think that's, that's acceptable. Yep, that'll be fine. In real life, I'd cut those bushes down anyway, or at least every other one. Give me an access way. Alright, the sunlight is not on it anymore, so we must be in the shade. Actually, it does have a little bit of an angle to it. I wondered about that. If it would track with the time of day. Anyway, turn you, leave you there. And let's go get... Curious about something. The water had this end. So we can use that uh, back with the uh, the Manitou. Well, let's go get that. As well as the, we'll go out and buy the Bale Spike. So this guy lives here. cute little thing into the store. And we'll go this way this time. Wow, that turns so easy. It's so strange to have a, the uh, center of turning to be at your seat instead of out in front of you. I wish you could adjust the mirrors. Aim that just a little bit different so I can see the lane along the side of me. Hmm. That's pretty good over there. So let's pick up the bale spike and then we'll pick up the water tank. Now I'm told that you can get free water from the river. I have to see if that's true because it costs quite a bit to get it out of a fountain. Unreasonably expensive, like it's a few, uh, cost of, of gasoline. Alright, so telehandlers, right? Right there. We already have this guy. That we want to get eventually, but this is what we're looking for right now. Now, is that the best way to go? That's for grabbing round ones, that's for grabbing logs. Yeah, I think it is. So we'll grab this one. Buy. Yes. Okay. Back, back, back. There you are. So, where do we want to gas or fill this thing up? Where do we have easy access? Tell you what, let's go look for that bridge that I was talking about last episode. Well, this may not be the right equipment to try and drag across it. But I'm still curious where that goes. Is it a footbridge or was it a vehicle bridge or what?
going to go over on this side because it was over here. It was diagonal from one of these corners. I couldn't quite figure out where it went or why. Is it there? It's right there. Okay. You behave. Let's go around the block. So is that bridge there? Where does that come out? And why? So you've got to jump the curb. There's water. You could fill up out of that fountain right there if you wanted to. That goes to there. Yeah, am I a little wide for that? But still, there's no access to water here. I'd have to back down into the the river, so we got to figure out a place where uh, where it's low enough. Let's pop into this so I can use my pointer. How do we get to that beach? Now, this mill over here, there is a way to go down and into the river. I remember that. There may have been a place behind the uh, the lodge to get down to the water. We're here. Could try it down here. Let's see if we can get down below field 26 on our way back up to here. Boy, we're so close to this area, though. All right, I'll just kind of watch the river as we go. But I'm thinking behind 26, go to the far side, drop down, and, and fill it up right there. Let's see if that's possible. I wonder if that is a footbridge and not meant for driving because there's no obvious access for vehicles to get to it. Okay, you're making that turn and I'm going for it next. Here we go. Okay, so there's 26 out there. I want to make the next right. Whoa. Then, the beach is just past the corner. Is it something that we can drop down into? Looks like it is. All right, we can deal with this. So do we back it up from the cab or from the outside? With the center uh, steering or all-wheel steering, it's really easy to back trailers with this guy. If I can get my rights and my lefts opposite each other. Okay, let's stop there. Alright, I hit R, will it fill? It will. Is it costing me anything? It is not. Alright, what's that look like from the outside? Actually, fairly realistic. <laughs> I would imagine we would take it down like so and whoa, forward and stop there. Boy, that's heavy now. That's interesting, that was pulling me backward. Give it a little bit of reverse and it just is picking up speed. Aha! That guy's full. He's heavy. 7,300 liters. Alright, let's work on some math. So, a liter is roughly a quart. There are four quarts to a gallon. So, 
One fourth of 73. That's going to hurt the brain. So less than 2,015 would be 6,000. So 1,750 gallons actually times 8 pounds per gallon. So actually double the 73 should give you roughly the weight. So right around 14,000 pounds. So there's 7 tons on this guy. Huh. So if we drove out to the bios gas plant and actually um, got on the scale, I wonder what it would weigh. I wonder how accurate that would be. And one little beacon here. All right, so we are heading. We should be heading out to to the. Uh, Fancy artwork on the side of the road. We can turn there. So that guy right there. Though if we take this turn, we have lots of uh, curves to hit. We we'll take this one instead. It's a little bit easier path. Build a canola here to be worked on soon. And that's not far from home too. Consider a 22 as a viable option to, to purchase. Good size too. Probably way out of our price range though. Seems like field five was not far under a million dollars. That's the big one, the top right. And it gives you a, something to gauge other fields against. You don't really need the trees of the trains to sell the logs, but it'd be fun to do it, just just to do it. Pick the train that's opposite the uh, sawmill, drop a bunch of logs out there and, and drive the train over to load it up, bring it over to this point over here, transfer it from this train to the other one, then take that one out to the uh, sawmill sell point and, and do that. Water, I believe, is the... Well, let's see. There's two troughs. Which is which? That looks like food. So this is water over here. Now, as long as you're in this this uh, yellow slashed rectangle, it will work. Though it sure looks better to back the fill spout into the, uh, where am I going? This way. So hard to get my brain backwards here. So we want to turn this way and go backwards. There we go. Just like so. All right, R. Not an R, okay. I'm sure you're there somewhere. I have unload I. That's not what I would have thought it'd be. Water is not accepted here. Okay. Scratch that. <laughs> That's why I didn't get a symbol. I'll try it this way. So now we know where the grass goes. And unload I. Detach. All wheels. Oh! We can choose between all-wheel steering and left and, and uh, front-wheel steering, or maybe even rear-wheel steering. All right, we'll go with that. I. There we go. So it's going to put in enough to keep ten animals for six days satisfied. So every six days, we got to get back here and fill up again. There's probably no reason to bring this one back to the farm. 
I wish I could get into that little pen right there. Where do we park this guy? Makes sense to leave it right here. Uh, try that button. There we go. We'll do something just like that. Alright, so that's on the ground on its support leg there. And get rid of that. Let's take our bale spike and go grab a couple of grass bales and bring them over here. I don't know what will happen if it takes partial bale. So we'll drop one bale in and see what percentage is left. But I'm worried it's going to take three quarters of a bale and uh, there won't be. It just re will refuse to do the math. It may just throw away part of a bale, I don't know. I wish it would overfeed, but I don't think it does that. I never really noticed where the bale spikes are. Yeah, that's not good. Let's do that. In fact, I believe for transport it probably should be more like... Stop moving. That. That. Something a little bit safer. Can I see over there? Not really. So it's probably just not something that you transport, unless we take it up like this. That's possible. It may be allowed. What's our height look like? Not like that. Yeah, that's doable. Horrible blind spots in these tractors. Especially since I can't really move my head around to, to lean forward or back to look around something. This thing will hold two of them at a time. Sometimes it's easier to do by setting two of them side by side and then re-spearing them. I'm going to go that route. Because otherwise they'll be different heights. Alright, here's the challenge. Down to flat, bring it down. Just makes contact, and that's not it. So let's line them up again. There. Will you let me out now? You will. Okay. Alright. Control, left control Y. Let's see what happens now. Now we're just front wheel steering. That's easier to wrap my brain around, so I'm going to go with that. Let's get in here where we can see this, so you can see how that looks when it goes in. Let's take it down. Just like so. Put it back, up, and what's it take to... I could do that and see where we're going. Okay, let's go feed them. So I guess we'll bring the rest of the grass out there. I don't see us buying pigs this next episode. We'll just work with one animal for now. And maybe if we're not harvesting our own fields, then maybe we will uh, go do a job on a field that we're going to want to buy in the future, next episode. So all this grass can go to the sheep, is what I'm getting at. We don't need to divvy it up between the sheep and any future animals. Before we get to pigs, we will likely have done some more mowing. Now, if I slam the brakes, those things will slide off the bell spikes. In fact, let's pivot up a little bit higher. And the weight is just coasting me down. I'm not slowing down at all. Oh, there we go. 
Yeah, it does feel different with front wheel steering compared to center. This feels more like a car. I don't know if there were more choices if I could have chosen rear, rear wheel steering like a forklift works or the uh, combines are rear wheel. But they may have a choice on how to steer them too. I hadn't really noticed that before. I don't know how many vehicles give you that choice. There's our sheepies. Well, we know which one isn't the water, so how do we do this? Let's set these aside and just drop in one at a time. I wish I had a cover. In fact, we should probably think about buying a cover and putting it out here. Let's, let's do that now. Okay. We will just park that one there. P. Replaceables. Something small. I'd say the smallest one that they that is available. Lizard. Small vehicle shelter. Okay. That's probably it. Just looking at all the different choices here. That's a nice look right there. A picnic shelter. Huh, we've seen that out in the woods when we were looking for the gold nuggets. And trees, and then something that I've added in. You know, I like the look of that compared to that open one. Let's go this route. We could back the water into one side and put hay bales in the other. I like that. So buy that one. And, oh, that's nice. I thought it would start me at the store. Oh, good call. So much easier not having to try to get it to here from the store. Now, I've got to be careful where I'm going to put this because I'm going to need to back vehicles around. So do we go in as far as that? I don't know. Um, move around here. Just take a peek through the area. It makes sense to be on this side. How about in between? Oh, we got a big old rock there. Hmm. We could put it around the rock, though we got bushes there too. Really, the only place without bushes is right in the way. Man, we got bushes right there too. That's about all we're going to get and not have bushes inside. Alright, we'll go with that. Now, is that square? Looks pretty good. You never know until you get out and walk up against it to realize it wasn't. Then there's no, uh, there's no change in your mind. We're done? We're done. Then what, escape? Yeah. So let's go take a peek at that. Yep, that looks good. We have the plants that have kind of grown in. That's about as far as I could have squeezed it over. It did delete what was under it, though. Oh. So I could have deleted that tree. Interesting. Nope, that is not the zoom. <laughs> okay, let's go put these in here. Maybe easier said than done. Yep, easier said than done. Because I gotta pull into the feed zone, which is gonna just take it right off of there. So let's go this route, coming from this direction. Boy, don't get your reverse mixed up with your forward there. Here's where the all-wheel steering would have been better. Much tighter corner. Okay, we'll get in. Diagonal there. Nope. Depth of field is off a little bit. Okay, all-wheel steering. Gotta get back. So, left control Y one time. And, oh, that's parallel steering there. That's some, some freaky stuff. This will allow you to drive diagonally. Okay, control, Y. And that's diagonal the other way. 
There we go, back to all wheel steering. Okay, so let's zoom in here. Actually, we can just stay right here. That's right, we have a telescope here. So I'm thinking it is that way. Zoom out. And down. And back out. Kind of. No, nope, it grabbed the other one. If I could leave one behind, then yeah. So let's work on our pivot. Right there. Okay. So back over in here. And grab just one of them. There it is. Pivot it up. Lift it a tiny bit. And telescope it back in. There we go. Alright, let's see what happens here. I think it's just going to be like the logs and just suck it right off the top of that. Problem is, there's a limit of how much it can take. It did. Alright. Now we're going to have to give it a little bit of time to register here. Right? Animals. Cleanliness, water, and grass. 4,000. Hmm. Huh. I wonder what a bale is rated as. Would it tell me? Let's see. Down like that. Like that. The sheep are all going to start wandering over to eat. I'm curious. Will this tell me how much a bale is? Four thousand. One bale will do ten sheep for six days. Interesting. Yeah, for f the bar is filled. Okay, well that's good to know. One bale per ten sheep for six days, though, which means we're gonna have to wait till this is almost empty to put another bale in, or we're gonna have to have change, you know, some uh, loose grass in a in a loading wagon. Right? That, you know, that idea. Let's go put this guy away. Actually, I'm at about the end of my episode, aren't I? Let's call it done right here. Off camera, I'll go put it away, and maybe I'll bring the uh, the other three bales over and park them. But this has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like and subscribe if you would, and I will catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.